By 2050, the leading economies in the world will think of them as smart economies, AI-based, highly autonomous economies. And then we'll think of those economies who haven't invested in AI as traditional or industrial economies, stuck in the 20th century view. And it's no guarantee that the United States will be a smart economy. In fact, this is the core problem the US has. Its system of government and policy setting based on lobby group influence will prevent it becoming a leading smart economy because of the industrial nature of the US economy. To illustrate, 80% of China's ports today are automated, fully automated with robotics and automation. In November of last year, there was a massive strike in the US and the solution was for the US government to write a contract with the stevedores, the port workers in the United States to ban automation for 20 years. How can the US compete against China in that environment? So the way we'll see your smart economies being built at the start is with this autonomous supply chain. Automated factories, we call them dark factories, ships, autonomous ships, autonomous drones, autonomous transportation systems. But where are the humans in this supply chain system? Again, this is the technology unemployment problem. 